I guess when I was younger, because um, my mom's white and my dad's black, so like I've always noticed like that their skin tones were different, you know, so. I guess it was when I went to elementary school. I just like, I noticed that there were people of different races around me. It didn't bother me at all. I was like, hey man, we're friends. <laughs> it was in my life pretty much immediately because uh, I grew up in Anderson and I have, I had a lot of black friends like at a young age so I always had like it really never meant anything to me like race to me has always just been a color and nothing more than that really. Yeah so in sociology we talk about the agents of socialization and there are basically four primary agents family, peers, educational system, and the media. Race is a social construction. Like kids don't know what race is and they often don't notice race. When you ask them to make distinctions about people, they'll pick other things like clothing or their their voice or you know things that don't necessarily connect with what our cultural markers of race are. And it's interesting that people from majority populations learn about race very differently from minority populations because the kids who are in the minority population are often, it's highlighted for them, either by the culture or their families helping them try to navigate these cultural systems um, to the degree which, which they are different. But imagine having to be told that you're different. Growing up, I didn't necessarily look at race too much. I just looked at people as like people I know. It didn't necessarily matter what skin color they were, but it didn't really start hitting me until I made my transition to college. And initially, when I found out I was coming to Ball State, I had mentioned it to my grandparents, and they had made a comment of being, be careful up there with the Hoosiers. I would hear my family talking about different hardships and stuff like that, or being discriminated against. One, I had never heard the term Hoosier, and two, she told me to be careful because like, I was going into a predominantly white area. Diversity was something that was ignored, and then it was something that was tolerated. You know, we tolerate, you know, chicken pox or something like that, mosquito bites. You know, we tolerate diversity. To now being sought out and celebrated and an, an indication of, of engagement. My mom was very liberal. Like, she didn't care, like, what race or anything. And then my dad was like, he wasn't racist, but he didn't care for black people at all. Like, my sister married a black guy right out of high school. And my dad was like, it's not gonna work because he's black. And so my dad always had that mindset, like, I guess it was ingrained to me, like, I could never date a black person. It was kind of weird growing up when my mom was like, yeah, do whatever you want, date whoever you want, love whoever you want. And then my dad's like, no, you need to love a white person. Um, I talked to a lot of students and I just compelled them to say, you know what? When you're with a bunch of people who are exactly the same, how do you find the creative space? How do you create change? You want to seek out people who, you know, it's comforting to be people who think like you, but it's really challenging um, to find people who think differently than you because that stretches you and makes expand your horizons and things like that. And I think millennials are on this because they're moving away from the conformity um, they're feeling confident in themselves because the individualism and then they want to be creative and finding new things that is really embracing the diversity. In all honesty, I didn't really get my first exposure of diversity until I came here and I started like living here on my own. Because going back home it's the same thing, same community, same people. And when you come out here it's like a completely different ballgame. And not to comment on the other people who I've met through my time of being here at Ball State, but it's just interesting to hear people say that like me, coming to college is the first time that you really start to learn about people outside of yourself.